welcome to the Saitama Stadium. And here we have Barcelona against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Well, this is intense. They talk about it for months, they remember it for years. It matters almost too much when Barca and Real collide. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Well, I've got to go for a man who rarely makes a mistake, Thibaut Courtois. Uh, a great shot stopper, but then again, so are most other keepers. But what sets him apart for me is the way he commands his box. Um, and that he does with supreme authority. OK, interesting. Now it's Vidal. Modric does well there, alert. Vidal. Now it's Rakitic. Really smart interplay. They used the 1-2 to great effect in working their way through the middle then. A little more look though, and they may have been celebrating. Well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence on settle, and now they've got to back it up. to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Griezmann. Tries a through ball. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The idea was good, though, Peter. And I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Jordi Alba. So a run down the left wing. Passes it through. Now here's the through ball. How about it? Goal! Barcelona! I've given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Barcelona give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? Now the pass. Has us. Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it could happen. A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. And that's another throw. It's come loose. Vidal looks to slip it through. Danger averted for now. Azar tries to switch the play. Azar showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Chance, and he's on his way. Goal, Barcelona! 
themselves in front. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Barcelona go into the lead. And it's Modric. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. It's a loose ball. He'll have a dip! TT Messi Griezmann Looks like a good ball through Sergio Ramos pumps it upfield Pulls it over to the other flank Marcelo Tries a long pass towards the front. It'll be a throw in. Tries a through ball. Clears it out of harm's way. And it's Griezmann. Passes it through. Can he find a finish now? Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And he's there to hoof it away. Clear cut, it's a free kick. PK gets it back. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Rakitic. Referee's had a look. He's blown his whistle for half-time. Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. Barcelona head into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2-1. Suarez, Griezmann. What a adventurous run from a defender. Tony Kroos, Daniel Carvajal. That's a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Now the pass. Keeps everyone guessing. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Modric. Daniel Carvajal wanders offside. And he thought he'd beaten the offside trap too. It's a good call. Jordi Alba. And back to base. 
Sergio Busquets. Referee's given a throw. Modric tries the route one option. Oh, he's broken through. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Vidal. Jordi Alba tried to play it through. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too, that wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass it. Only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Sergio Busquets, Rakitic is being picked on here. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. Isco, who's going to make this theirs? Looks like a good ball through. Tony Kroos, there's a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Luis Suarez with the ball through. He's off on a marauding run. Real Madrid finally get themselves a breather. Well, if ever a tackle had to be made, that was about the perfect example. They were completely caught out by the break, and they got themselves into last resort territory. What a saviour. Messi, Tony Kroos, cuts it out. Azar, full tilt down the left. Azar is looking up for options on the left. Ball is over the line. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Luis Suarez needed to come up with a better ball. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. And it's Benzema. Good challenge, he just stood firm. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Sergio Busquets. Now it's Luis Suarez. Marcelo positions himself well and cuts it out. Messi plays it long. Luis Suarez has a hit! He should have put that one away. Well, he's definitely kept the side in the game then. That's really good positioning. They could have doubled their lead there. let-off that was they're still in it but uh, this could be pivotal Suarez has a go there's a real confidence about them and they look as though fitness levels and energy are still strong but they have to maintain possession they can't afford to lose it again Managed to get it away. And it's Jordi Alba. Five minutes left on the clock. Barcelona 
need to hold on for a few more moments. Up towards the flank, and he's cut it out. Get that clear. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Surely! Top save! That shot was travelling! Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Azar. Goes long and forward. Fourth official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. He's made sure that that won't get through. Looks to slip it through. Messi has it in a wide position, so what next? Suarez has a go! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. And the referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card. Modric tries to get it forward quickly. And the referee brings it to a close. Barcelona win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it, perhaps a draw would have felt fairer.